Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is one more video on how to do the split font with a name in it, like I did earlier today. And But this time I'm going to use the knife tool, and I think it started in X8, and this is Corel 2017, or 18, excuse me. But I've drawn a parallel perpendicular line, and I uh, put it in the center of the page, which my S is. I'm going to get the virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete the center. And you'll see why I'm doing this to this line. And then I'm going to take that line. I'm going to break the curve apart and puts it in two spots. Basically, I'm just getting a reference to be in the center of the page with my knife, which would, really wouldn't be that big a deal. But I'm grabbing the knife tool. I'm leaving a gap so you can have none or overlap or a gap of three inches. Now, I'm going to... You can't click on the line, but you can click near that line, then hold down the control key and don't click on that line. I guess you actually have to click on that S first. And it put our split, our three inch split or whatever you want. Then we could take this line away. So we're going to do the same thing we did earlier today. We're just going to take a small line about that might be a little bit long. Let's make it a little shorter. Let's make it 0.1 thickness. So it just be a thick, thin line. And then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to use the control button on that right there. I'm going to, I'm going to click to the center. Control D and make a duplicate. Move it out of the way while holding down the control button. And I'm going to do it a little bit quicker than we did before today. I made that line a little too thin. It all depends on how big your S is. And then just take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And there's your start. And then you could put that, well, we might as well just do it. Smith, grab it, make it New Times Roman. Unbold it, make it look a little better. And because you're working at the center of the page, that's how it's going to look. That's a little quicker using the knife tool. The knife tool is pretty cool. I think this, the knife tool is cool in any version, but in 2000 and or in X8, I think they came up on this where you could leave a gap. And since I made a two inch gap, it isn't going to show or a three inch gap, but you can make this gap anything you want. Let's just make it five, a half of an inch. And now you've got a half an inch gap. This would be very useful if you're drawing something. Um, you can actually, and let's back up here while we're talking about this real quick. You can have a overlap. And I've showed this in a video before. And now you have an overlap in where these parts would overlap each other. As you can see. You would do that if you're doing a car wrap or something. You wanted a quarter inch wrap or something. But most of my videos are for laser engravers. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.